हेलो माय लव्स मलाजुला भास्कर एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे आई एम हियर विद अ व्लॉग ओके आई एम नॉट अ पर्सन हु व्लॉग्स क्वाइट ऑफन ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम पोस्टिंग ऑन इंस्टाग्राम स्टोरीज आई एम नेवर एक्चुअली व्लॉग्ड अ पर्सन एंड आई एम रियली एक्साइटेड फॉर टुडेज वीडियो यू गुन टू सी ऑल द व्लॉग पार्ट ऑफ इट दैट कम्स अप नाउ एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डू अ हॉल एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो एज वेल एज टू वॉट आई बॉट दिस इज नॉट अ हॉल फॉर अ ब्यूटी कंटेंट क्रिएटर ऑफ मेकअप और यू नो एनीथिंग लाइक दैट इट इज जस्ट हाउस होल्ड थिंग्स ऑफ यू नो यूटेंसिल्स and the different kind of food and why i like to go there so if that interests you then keep on watching but before we jump into the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i post a video i'm going to be shooting this video on my phone so in case in case you feel i'm going to keep looking like this okay because i'm not used to shooting on my phone and i want to make sure the frame is right the phone is just kept on a table and i don't want it to fall off so bear with me for that i don't have my dslr with me right now but anyways let's jump into the video now hi you guys very good morning i just woke up and uh, i'm going to get some coffee ready and get ready and we will be leaving to sai sangeet today so exciting day impromptu trip with family let's see how it goes hello i'm all set i am wearing mac carnivores okay and i decided to wear a salwar today i'll show you the uh, picture on the mirror but there's a small change in plan uh, our in-laws are also joining us and we're going to have a small temple trip so i had to switch from wearing jeans to salwar so let me show you my dress now okay so let's ignore <clears throat> the dirtiness behind me but i think everything apart from that looks nice i'm wearing a black uh, kurta and i paired it with a legging okay it's just a simple uh, cotton silk uh, kurta made at nuru studio and then i have my applique dupatta yes and i paired my new tommy bag i put this up on instagram if you missed to see it i'll see you all in the car bye bye <laughs>
couldn't take off the mask and explain what I was buying anyway I'll make a haul video later on but I finished purchasing and someone's paying the bill for all of us Prasanna <laughs> okay it was a beautiful time shopping there's one more thing I need to show you all I'm really really full but I'm still going to show all of you that beautiful part of Sai Sangeet and then we will leave from here Okay, it's pretty crowded out here, okay? So, I'm just coming to secluded places to take my mask off and talk to all of you. But anyways, I'm gonna put my mask on, turn the camera the other way around and show you the prettiest part of Sarasangi, which I come here for almost every month. I have seen these creatures free out here when the crowd is a little less and now everything is in the cage. They don't keep it in the cage always. I have seen it free out here and it's really cute it is. Very cute. So yes, shopping at Sai Sangeet done. I'll show you all what all I picked. As usual, I'm a junkie. I love filling my uh, kitchen up with a lot of vessels and you know, love it. Husband and mother-in-law packing everything behind in our car. God, it's terribly exhausting. We just got into Bangalore and got into HSR layout. There was so much traffic and we got hungry again. So we stopped at a restaurant in HSR layout. I'll show you what that place is all about. So we apparently heard good reviews about this restaurant called Arogya Ahara in HSR layout but it's a complete takeaway uh, restaurant now like I showed you on the board it's a quick walk from here so we are taking the walk to the restaurant <laughs> Apparently the dosa here is very good so I am having plain dosa and everyone around is having masala dosa not a big fan of masala dosa let's see how it tastes so this place is supposedly very famous even for its jalebis so we ordered jalebi as well Wow, it's so crispy. Main thing is very very fresh. Hot, crispy and fresh. Damn nice. Food's really good. How's the food? Awesome. Good, huh? Yes, very good. <laughs> what are you eating? Masal dosa, tarogya, ahara. It's super tasty. Okay, let me continue enjoying it. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> We also got jamun and I'm finishing up my jalebi you guys. This place had amazing food you guys. It was just 30 bucks the masala dosa. The jamun was 10 bucks per piece and two pieces of jalebi were 10 bucks. Amazing food, damn nice. We all enjoyed thoroughly. Did you the food there? <laughs> See, we all enjoyed. So yes, we are done snacking over here. We are heading back to the car. The parking lot is close by. I think it's about 150 meters of a walk from here. Damn good food. <laughs> Can't stop saying it. Enjoyed a lot. So first, I'm going to start off with the food, okay? So many of the Tamilians or the 90s kids who are watching this video will connect a lot with this kind of, uh, you know, food that I'm talking about. So first, it's going to be the honey amla, okay? Uh, so these are like the full big gooseberries which are soaked um, in the, uh, you know, uh, honey. So it tastes really, really good, you guys. I think this pack of 15 or uh, 20 or something like that and it's 99 bucks very nice yummy and 
it's really tasty next is the yelanda vade that we call it okay this is um i don't know what uh this is called this is more or less like a gooseberry only it's a small sour fruit okay which is ground and it's mixed with jaggery and little bit of spices and all that and this is made it's a yummy yummy treat you guys people who are tamilians or uh you know from the village side who have gone visited it's a very very popular um you know snack over there very healthy as well so yes that's product number two and then i have the butter coco mitai okay so this is something i really really love basically this is peanut okay the peanut is ground uh, with caramel uh, and lot of butter and all is put into it and it comes in these long long uh, tube basically it's like that ground chikki okay but with a lot of butter in it again i love this particular product i need to have it around me always and i need to keep eating this particular thing because it's so yummy and then i have the coconut cake okay so this is basically a coconut burfi kind of a sweet but a little harder than coconut burfi a little more chewy than a coconut burfi because it's got caramel in it okay so the sugar is caramelized and then this particular sweet is made a very very yummy sweet this is how it looks very tasty i'm showing you single packets but i've bought like the uh, you know stuff i require for the whole month so that you know until i go there next time i'll have stock at home and next is my favorite okay it's banana halwa this is the banana halwa it's um called uh, sakkare cashew ghee cake seed okay so whatever this is called but it's amazing you guys it's 35 bucks for uh, a pack of 8 and it's it is really tasty okay it's got the bit of ajwain in it the taste of ajwain which comes in between and and then a very tamilian thing okay number one bovanto is something you know as tamilians that i miss a lot back in the times when i was doing films and when i was traveling from chennai to bangalore every time i'll stop and pick big big bottles of bovanto for my entire family okay so bovanto is one such thing which many people don't know the preciousness of and um, i picked up bottles and bottles of bovanto to keep in my fridge in case i want to you know have a drink or something like that bovanto is the thing that i really really love apart from that next is the um, paneer soda okay so this is got like uh, a rose kind of a flavor gulab ka flavor which comes into this soda okay again it's amazing guys you really need to try this product out it's a super duper duper drink to have whenever you're thirsty or whenever you're irritated it just uplifts your mind so yes that's all about the food part of it okay apart from that i picked up some utensils which uh, we use many of them uh, are moving towards using iron skillets and all that but in my family it's been a thing for generations okay and now this cast iron skillet and all has come it is the same thing but in you know the more westernized version so i found a skillet there i have a lot of um, you know amazing uh, um, iron cookware but i never bought a skillet so here is a skillet i love like the skillet because it is easy to carry okay i'm very weak on the wrist so i cannot hold that other skillet and lift it up so this is like a little short so in case you know i can just put two cloths like this and lift the skillet up so it works out easy for me so i picked up this particular skillet this is heavy af you guys it's really good quality as well I'm also showing you a few things that uh, we picked up for our mother-in-law as well. Okay, this is a kadai. This is not cast iron. Okay, this is a normal iron. It's thin only and not very heavy. Okay, she wanted this. I don't know. Um, she has her own uh, ways of <laughs> picking stuff. She wanted this uh, for making some uh, sweet or something like that. But it's a very nice one, very handy as well. And she also took uh, this iron ka, uh, you know, dosa um, turner. <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is also uh, a product this i already have a little bigger one in fact so this was bought for her 
and then i picked up some stoneware as well okay so stoneware is uh, that kind of a vessel which will retain either heat or coolness okay so if you leave it as it is uh, that is in olden days before because there was no refrigerators or anything they used to store uh, dosa batter and curds and all that in this particular vessel okay so in that way it doesn't become fermented or it doesn't have that spoiled uh, taste in it so that's why they used to use this so I got this particular kadai okay I do have uh, the like the traditional cookware already but this is like a nice big kadai in case there are a lot of people coming and we have to make a little more I felt this kadai is nice or even otherwise you know I can always use it to make um, vegetables which is also very very nice so yes this is something I picked up this is 1200 bucks okay and um, everything is from size and eat only okay so the next one is this oh my god i think it's really heavy this is made of complete stone okay so this is a huge three liter uh, one again this was for my mom-in-law which uh, we picked a very nice piece okay very very beautiful piece you can check that out it's pretty heavy nice and sturdy so again if a lot of people are coming and you know we have to make a lot of food you can see my hands are already stained with these cookware all this has to be seasoned okay so i will show you of how, how i season these particular uh, uh, you know cast iron or the skillet or uh, my stone cookware everything has to be seasoned before it's used okay so i will show you how i season each of it as well in uh, an upcoming video or something but all this cannot be directly bought and you know go kept on the stove just like that so i'm a person who uses a lot of these stoneware and ancient cookware so yes i sort of have experience on how to season it well so the next was this okay so i picked this up for my uh, puja almira it's like nice steps uh, like three steps over there with all um, rangoli and everything damn cute you guys this is thousand bucks really liked this particular product as well i will place all these products and show you where exactly i'm keeping it okay so you don't have to worry and imagine who she's bought all these things where on earth is she going to even keep it so the next thing that i got was these floral uh, you know um, like flowers which are made of shells okay this they get new collections almost every month so i you know whenever i like something i'll just pick it up this is like 200 rupees 300 rupees kind of things and it's completely handmade okay like you can see these are shells and the entire flower is made of shells this is also a simple one and see how beautiful this looks so this i like you know for decorative purpose i have a lot of of, uh, these things already so there's a particular vase in which i put everything so i'll show all that you know maybe in a house store or something that i do i'll definitely show all this to you guys so yes my loves we come to the end of today's video and this particular vlog okay we really could not go to the temple trip because i think we were very tired and um, you know after uh, going to sai sangeet itself we were very very tired so we just returned back as it is and shopping shopping we got really tired lifting all these heavy stuff and you know seeing what to pick so yes we had to cancel the temple trip but yeah we anyways had a lot of fun and i hope you all like this particular vlog okay so let me know in the comment section below Below and uh, let me know dm on instagram also and let me know what you felt about this video before you sign out don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i post a video i love you all so so much take care you guys bye bye